What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. We're out here doing a little bit of scouting today. Haven't been to this area in uh, in like two years, but I absolutely love this place. It's going to be the first place that we're going to be hunting this season. So um, I'm with my buddy John. We're going to take the bikes and uh, cruise down a couple little transition areas that we've spotted on the map. Um, see if we can find some good sign, maybe spot some deer and uh, put out a couple cameras and see what we can find. Hey y'all, I'm just sitting here editing up this video that you're about to watch, but I just wanted to make a quick announcement. We've got an awesome event coming up. If any of you guys are interested in learning how to scout in South Florida, this event that we've got coming up is perfect for you. It's a, um, a scouting workshop. We're going to have a bunch of people that know how to hunt in South Florida, take uh, a few small groups out and go into uh, a wildlife area uh, to find deer and hogs and show you guys what it is that we look for uh, and how to set up on it. Uh, basically just everything that these people have learned over the years of being successful hunters in South Florida, they're going to be teaching that stuff. So if you're interested, uh, make sure you go check out our Facebook page, uh, just Swamp and Stomp on Facebook. There's going to be uh, an event. Please go there and RSVP because uh, after the event we're also gonna have a party we're roasting up a whole hog there's gonna be all kinds of delicious food um, and uh, and we want to make sure that we have enough food for everybody so make sure you RSVP and we hope to see you guys at that event all right y'all so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking on the map and I'm looking for um, points and funnels where tree lines sort of pinch together um, and I'm just cruising around looking for the spots that that's happening and since it's still pretty early I'm kind of looking for old rubs um, hoping that you know whatever buck made them last year might still be alive and come back and as you can see I'm, I'm on a point right now like this transition area and it's all grassy and uh there's, there's tons of game trails going right through all this grass. So I'm just moving through kind of slowly and uh, kind of expecting to kick up some deer, but I'm just looking for rubs right now. So I keep going. I feel like I'm in an area that deer would like to hang out. So. So I just saw some deer. <clears throat> they were bedded right on the edge out here. They ran back into here. There's a really nice tree over that way that uh, can see a long ways and shoot this edge quite well. There's a lot of small trees in here and a lot of trails. So I'm just walking around trying to see if uh, there's any old rubs or any signs of bucks. <sighs> Just came across a deer right here. A big fat doe. She was heading into this, but I had a feeling that uh, there would be deer on this little point because it's like a little point of all these palms, but it's kind of, there's not really anywhere to set up a tree stand or, or getting a saddle it's all really short so I'm gonna work my way around it looks like there's a nice tall pine there so hopefully that's right on the edge of this there might be a good spot there all right so I'm checking out another area right now I saw the spot on the map and it looks like there's a solid little pinch point here so I just wanted to come take a look and right off the bat I can see there's trails all through this tall grass there's lots of shrubs. It seems like animals are using them. Well, one of the things. 
things that immediately stands out about this spot. I do think that deer use it, but I just don't see a lot of trees that are that are good to set up in. I mean, there's trails all over the place in here, so they definitely use it. I see a few tall pines back here. So when I get to a place like this, I don't really see the point in scouting the whole thing. I'd rather just go straight to the trees that I can actually hunt from and see if there's sign there because if they're not coming near that there's really no point in even bothering to hunt the area yeah this has fresh sap it coming out of it oh, yeah. I can tell he's, been there. he's been rubbing this for a while man huh? he's been rubbing this for a while definitely hard what's up YouTube today we're doing something special for our patreon members we're actually going to go put in some leg work and scout to try to find a spot to take two lucky patreon members mark's going to take a guy i'm going to take a guy or, or girl whoever we end up landing with um it's going to be a total random drawing but we're going to put in lots of leg work and try to get y'all on an awesome hunt uh, we still haven't determined the date that we're going to be doing but i can promise you it's going to be Awesome. Epic. Epic, awesome, or amazing. Any of the above. Or all three. Yeah. So we just found this spot here. John and I are pretty excited about it. Um, this little tree right here has a couple scrapes uh, right underneath it. Uh, and they're, they're being used. There's actually some wet um, like pee in it. You can smell it. Um, but there's a bunch of trails going in all different directions. We're on this pretty big clearing and when you're on these big clearings it's hard to pick a spot to put your camera what i want to do is actually put the camera kind of far from the scrape and cover as many trails as possible um, on the side where the trees are that we could potentially set up on because what i want to know is when they walk along those trees where we're going to be hunting uh, are they coming from the thicket or are they coming from this field so i kind of have an idea of what wind is gonna, you know, uh, be better for us when we're hunting. There's a whole bunch of these beds all around here, especially right back here. So it seems like does are bedding down here. And if any of those does go into heat, uh, you know, when the, when the rut gets going, there's gonna be bucks all over this place. So I'm excited. You gonna shut it? And now we pretend to be deer. So I just checked this camera. We got like three shooter bucks on it. Nice. Um, but they're always hitting the scrape at night. There's does coming during the day. But the bucks, uh, I think they came two different nights over the past week uh, at nighttime. Um, 
seems like they're coming out of the, the woods that are yeah. like back behind this little opening. So I'm kind of debating whether I should go check out this other area or try and poke into these woods and see if I can't find like some rubs because they're already hard horned. Um, oh yeah, I found a massive rub over here. Yeah, um, I found a couple, I... but not right here. So I'm kind of yeah. thinking I might go look for some rubs instead of going down to that other area. The only thing is it does seem like there's a, a lot of people focused on this area. So I'm kind of debating whether I should search further and see if I can find these bucks like where they're hanging out during the day or uh, you know go to a completely new area. All right y'all so <clears throat> I had a camera set up like a few hundred yards from here and uh, we got three legal bucks, three shooters. One of them's pretty small, but the other two looked like one of them was like a seven point. One of them was just a tall fork. Um, and then one might have been like a six or eight. It was kind of hard to tell. But, uh, and then I think there was also a, a fork horn, just, but it only had one antler. But anyway, so it looked like they were always coming through by the camera at nighttime, but they were always coming out of the, the brush back here. So I decided to uh, just poke in here, take a look, see if I could find any rubs, any sign that would indicate that these bucks are hanging out in here during the day. There's some really nice pine trees that I can get on. So I'm gonna peek around here just a little bit, see if I can't find any signs of life. All right, so when I came walking into this area, I just immediately kind of had that feeling that I was walking into a deery area. This is like the thicker area next to that prairie where we, where we had that scrape. And uh, immediately right here where I'm standing, right here, there was two does bedded down. And they didn't spook, they just got up and walked off that way. But even before I saw them, I was looking at this tree right here. I was thinking this would be a really good tree to set up on because if I get high enough I can see around this corner so I can see if deer are coming I can be ready to shoot when they're around this corner and on this side I can see a long ways as well so I can really cover probably the majority of this it looks like back there is probably 35 maybe 40 yards all the way at the back and that's really my limit of how far I'll shoot but that tree is a definite maybe for opening morning. Uh, if those bucks keep showing up at night, I'd rather be back here. Um, plus, I think there's a lot of people that might go sit near where that uh, that camera is. Really just using that camera to see what's hitting that scrape it doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna sit right on top of it. The only downside to this spot back here is I have not found any rubs or any specific sign that indicates that bucks are living back here. But it just kind of seems like an area that they might cruise on through. It's a nice little corridor that stays hidden from the big prairies. So I think, you know, if I were to sit here, if I do get a shot, the buck will be moving pretty quick. So I'd have to keep my head on a swivel. <laughs> but it usually is. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was just one of many scouting trips that we've been on so far. It's been a crazy busy summer, but I promise you we have all kinds of great footage coming up. Well, I guess I can't promise that, but we have all kinds of great plans coming up uh, for this season. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. There's going to be plenty of content coming out in the next few months. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.